Okay. Uh, so, hello everyone. Today we will be talking about uh, the paper uh, Audio LDAM and uh, the field of text audio generation in general. Uh, this model uh, was presented uh, in the February of this year and uh, the second version uh, is really fresh. It's It was presented uh, a few days ago at uh, August 4. And so this is a very fresh model and uh, this field itself uh, also developing uh, really rapidly. Uh, as you can see from the benchmark uh, from the papers with code uh, and uh, these are uh, really sort of models in this field that uh, audio generation is uh, a new field and um, it started developing from the uh, diff sound model uh, from uh, 2022. Uh, and as you can see, after the uh, audio dam was presented, uh, it uh, it has surpasses um, all metrics. Uh, and in addition, it was uh, a low computational cost and uh, doesn't require a lot of data uh, pair it with text and audio because the main part of it can be trained uh, just having uh, the audio. Uh, uh, there were two models, um, diff sound and audio gen, become, uh, before the um, before this model, uh, but uh, in the same time. Uh, there was presented make an audio model uh, and we'll talk about it uh, on the next slides also. Uh, so uh, this model is not only for the text audio, it can be used uh, also for audio and painting, uh, for super resolution and uh, it has attention to all uh, details in text prompts and we can uh, listen examples right now. So that was uh, general uh, text to audio uh, domain uh, from this uh, text prom chopping tomatoes on a wooden table. Uh, next, uh, this is an example of style transfer when we have one original sound, uh, in this case of trumpet, and we uh, audio uh, text guide it with uh, uh, this prompt uh, from trumpet to uh, children singing. And let's hear uh, so it tries to connect uh, to audios and it is really useful for music music generation. Uh, also, uh, uh, it can uh, done audio in painting. Uh, it's when uh, one part of the audio is absent, is cut it, and uh, let's hear how the input sounds. And here is the result. So it in paints audio and uh, the last example is about super resolution uh, when we uh, have low resolution audio and uh, you want to improve it. Uh, and here is the result. It, it's like raises quality and uh, as you can see from the spectrograms it's uh, how this from low to super resolution looks like. Uh, so let's talk about the structure uh, of this model and uh, why is it it has advantages uh, in comparison with other models, uh, even uh, ones with better metrics. Uh, 
as uh, most important uh, advantage is that it does not require um, as i said uh, before uh, labeled data uh, pairs of text and audio uh, because this data is uh, always human annotated uh, so it's hard to get and uh, there is not a lot of uh data for this uh, for example there is a human labeled data set audio caps uh, it's a, a data set uh, on which uh, we will see a matrix on next slide uh, it's just cuttings from the youtube videos and annotated uh, by human uh, so uh, let's talk about uh, why it can be trained uh, having a lot of audio data without any text uh the only part that needs uh text audio pairs it's a clap part uh, it's a contrastive language audio training encoder uh, it aligns audio and text within a unified space uh, so it likes connects encodings of uh, text and audio uh, this model uh, is easier to train as in any other parts and uh, I forgot to mention that uh, uh, all four parts of this model can be trained separately. And uh, this also makes it uh, low computational costs. And it was trained only on one GPU uh, in comparison with uh, making audio, which was uh, trained on uh, 64 GPUs simultaneously. Uh, so it's easier to train it. Uh, so this first part, it matches uh, audio and uh, text, for example, for model to understand that uh, model, uh, that sound of laughing is close to sound of giggling and uh, sound of guitar is close to ukulele, for example, uh, but uh, laughing and uh, guitar sound are different. So they have a longer distance. Uh, the second part is latent diffusion model. Uh, it takes a low um, uh, dimensional representation of audio. Uh, there are three uh, types of this audio dam uh, with different amount of these parameters. The smallest one is audio is represented by uh, 512 parameters uh, so this this part of the model is like learns to generate uh, latent representations and uh, they are uh, conditioned on the embeddings uh, taken from the club model and the third part is a mouse spectrogram autoencoder and uh, this like uh, tracks to make um, a latent representation uh, more uh, high dimensional. And the last part is vocoder that turns mouse spectrogram into uh, the waveform. Uh, this is how the structure looks like. And uh, as I said, uh, this audio encoder uh, also is called clap. Uh, latent diffusion and uh, vocoder uh, all, all these parts can be trained separately and uh, the most crucial part is latent diffusion which can be trained as audio to audio model uh, so it requires uh, only uh, audio data mm. In practice, uh, there are also a second version, uh, Audio LDAM2. Uh, its code is uh, also open source and uh, already uh, can be tested. And uh, but it requires uh, a GPU at least of uh, 17 gigabytes. And uh, I tested it. Uh, it's sometimes hard to prompt. Uh, text uh, to achieve results you want uh, but uh, general results are really impressive uh, however um, uh, i forgot to mention that uh, data set it was trained on 
uh, it's 16 kilohertz and uh, it's not as high uh, as professional audio and this task of uh, super resolution uh, it makes from uh, 8 kilohertz to 16 kilohertz and so i hope uh, the next iteration will also uh, be with a higher sampling rate uh, that's comparison of the results when uh, audio dam was presented where only the sound and audio gen were uh, for the audio generation uh, this uh, small and large model were trained uh, on uh, data set i mentioned before audio caps and uh, this full version uh, was trained with a uh, bigger data set of only audio which is not annotated and uh, it is interesting that uh, when the authors made an ex experiments uh, with uh, training uh, connected uh, latent diffusion with only uh, audio and uh, with only audio that uh, has pairs of text uh, surprisingly, results were that uh, only audio to audio uh, achieved even better results uh, that can be connected with bad text description. Uh, but yes, it's an interesting fact, fact from this uh, training process. Uh, however, this field is constantly developing and uh, there are other models nowadays uh, one of the open sourced also is tanho and uh, it has almost the same results as audio dem uh, however uh, the most promising results show make an audio uh, second version but uh, uh, it's not an open sourced model unfortunately uh, so uh, we can listen to comparison of uh, that's an audio generated uh, by three models i took this uh, make an audio from their presentation and generate it with uh, audio them and audio them uh, too as uh, the prompt said that uh, it's a river uh, that ends with a kid's sound that's the now. So thank you for your attention, uh, that's all, and uh, I'm waiting for your questions.